Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Gazza9919 here, and we are at uh, Sloth Garage HQ today. Uh, link in the description ch channel out. He's currently working on a Subaru and he's refurbishing it, and it's coming along pretty nice, so I'd strongly advise you go check the channel out. So, the problem we have with the wing mirror is I didn't put it on right and it's all floppy. Um, it's not really supposed to do that, so, because what I've done is I've put it back and I haven't put the cables correctly. So, as a solution, instead of just taking it off and fixing the cables, I've done something else to try and, like, improve as well as repair. If you remember, a few weeks back, I actually did these wing mirrors. I uh, sprayed them in Panther Black, which should be the same color as the car, which it seems, seems quite close, to be fair. And as we can see, I've done the actual surround as well. So instead of this tacky plastic, you've got the uh, Panther Black plastic so it should in theory look a bit better and obviously these will work properly because i wouldn't have messed about with the wiring inside the mechanism to be fair from the off i should have probably just got a new wing mirror instead of trying to mess about fix everything and like the internals but next on the agenda is this glue as you may know if you've ever taken a mark 5 door card off before they are terrible for like just falling apart so you get these clips sort of falling off i've taken these off another door card that i'm going to glue on and also the uh this channel along here on the inside of the door that tends to separate from the fabric and that is exactly what we're going to sort out you can sort of see it down there it's just started to separate and we're going to fix that today so hopefully this this uh glue i've got from halfords that cost me about five pound should do the job First things first, we're going to start by attacking the passenger side. So now, what we're going to want to do is, this hasn't got any cap in here, it would usually have a cap on, that we would pry out with a flathead. But we just want to get a screwdriver in there. That's interesting, I forgot about that. It's actually a swan connection. How bizarre. We'll leave that one for now, because we have a Phillips, we'll attack this one instead. Problem with these, so much crap gets built up in them, because of where they are. So ideally, we're just gonna keep that in there actually. It's not gonna hurt anybody. We are gonna do this one, but because this is gonna be the one that separates the door card from the door frame, I ideally wanna get this one before I get that one. So let's get a Torx on that and get that sorted. All right, so we've got the Torx for that. I'm just unscrewing this now. And then there is something you must remember whenever you're unscrewing this, and that is to disconnect the tweeter. This is a bit more weirder because I think the power has been routed from the tweeter to the little LED accent lighting that it's got going off. We need to take this off here so we can take this panel off. Obviously being careful of the speaker because this is something that wouldn't have been fitted from factory. And in order to get the door card off, we need this plastic section off. So. We're going to sort of get that off and just start stripping this apart. I'm probably explaining this in the wrong order, but it sort of gives you a rough general gist on what the crack is. That's that through, so now we can just pull this off happily. Yeah. We'll get our flathead into here and pry this off gently without causing too much damage so i've got that bit off uh we've taken these off it's it's never really a great deal you are going to end up destroying them eventually we'll put that there but it's just one of those things that you've got to do now we can unscrew this bit here it doesn't actually feel like it's been screwed incorrectly anyway it's quite loose i think i could have been the last person to touch this but i can't be 100 percent sure i don't think i was actually because i only did the driver side last time it was only the driver's side that had the problem passenger side was fine got it so I'll put that again in our little hole there now this should come away again we've got to be really careful because this will be wired up probably really sketchily. It's not even a word, but the wiring is a bit iffy. Hmm. 
So we're going to have to just be very careful about how we go about this. The reason we have to take the door cord off is because these two screws here, you cannot access them whatsoever. It's not even a case of you can just pry it back or push it down. This thing will not move. So the wing mirror will not come off unless you take this door cord off to access those two there. And that's exactly what we're gonna do now. But we've also got to be careful with the accent lighting with this. because It's a bit different. We don't wanna go damaging that. So the door cord can only get, come away from the car a certain amount. usually five clips on the edge but if you have a mark five you will struggle to find one where all the clips are probably still intact um, so yeah we're just gonna make sure all those clips are popped now and apparently by the feels of that we've just got the one clip then after you've popped all the clips you just want to push up just very lightly get a few knocks should come out in theory it's not it's not doing it the way we really want it to because we've still got this bit connected and we need to be careful of the cable which we don't want to traumatize too much so we're just going to pull this off out the handle hopefully we've got a bit of wiggle room with the cable which looks like we are and then we can just lift this it should allow us to have a bit more movement but more than anything we want to be careful of this This is what's going to do us, if anything. We don't really want it hanging off. Right. There we go. Bingo. So we've got that through there, look. We are still connected with the electric windows, and that looks like what it's sourcing its power off. But, uh, but yeah. That is our job is good. So now, like I said before, just take these three screws off. And then, in theory, our mirror should just fall straight off. This really has not been off before, this wing mirror. Just struggling to play ball. So that's all those three screws out. Now we simply just pull. It should come straight out. Obviously, you've just got to maneuver this little thing through there. And you've got a bit of foam you've got to take out as well. We're going to take the foam off. And we're literally, first of all, we're going to feed this through. We're going to locate it into the slots. I'm actually quite happy with that. I think that actually looks really good. Um, not to like toot my own horn or anything, but that looks pretty good. <laughs> when it's all bolted up it will look a bit better and when it's actually got glass in. I haven't had glass in them at the moment because while I'm transporting them about and fitting them I don't want to risk smashing the glass. So let me just cram this in here make sure it's well uh, more spaced out. Now simply pull this through now I'm just gonna put a couple of bolts in finger tight just to secure it. So we'll come on that side. <laughs> we'll get one down here I reckon. And as I say, we'll just put these in finger tight just for the time being. And we'll get one up here. Like so. And then we'll get our Phillips and just tighten it up a bit more. Same with the top and we'll get our third one in a minute. The reason I'm hesitating on the third one is because it seems to have some sort of corrosive substance about around it. Well, corroded substance around it. I don't quite know what it is, but it don't look like it's having a good time. So this is our uh, final third screw. We've got caked in crap. And actually, I want to make sure this is on as proper as it possibly can be. And there we go, that is wing mirror on. So now it's just a case of assembling everything back together. Um, being quite cautious, you guys at home with your Mark 5s, you probably won't have the same issue with uh, with this, with cable for this, and the uh, cable for the extra speaker there. It's just because at some point 
in this car's life it has probably been owned by a boy racer of some sort and they've uh, opted for the extra speakers which to be fair I can't complain because they are quite decent quality including the speakers that have been installed on the parcel shelf proper old school and I do like it because it's like a uh, it's like a time appropriate mod let's get this thing back together I was going to glue stuff to it but I mean I don't know I think we might get away with it because it's not it's not coming away too bad from here the only thing that's causing issues is this polystyrene block, which is for sound deadening. And it, uh, <laughs> I was waiting for it to fall, I zoomed in just as it dropped. <laughs> which is for sound deadening. Um, but it would just be nice to sort of have it in there properly. And I think it slots in there like that, it would make sense to. So, I mean, I could glue it, but at the same time, it sort of, it just sandwiches in there anyway, so it doesn't make much of a difference. As we can see here, this this door card has been off before because these are all bent. So we're just going to, uh, well, try to straighten them up or just snap them off because they're just useless to us if they're not going to straighten up. But sometimes you can bend them back into shape just like that one. I think we're actually going to attempt to glue that back on. I think we'll do that. And it should look okay. As long as we're careful with this. And it's not putting too much strain on my cable. So, I may as well make the most of the uh, five pound health foods glue that I got. The main points of contact I believe are gonna be along here and potentially in these sort of like darkened areas where the glue was before. Not gonna lie, I'm not convinced it's gonna stick. Cuts to, yeah, it didn't stick. <laughs> so this is quite instant acting glue. It's actually what Ford used when they originally made, built the car, believe it or not. Yeah, that's why all the bits keep falling off. <laughs> Apparently this is quick acting, so I've got to be careful. I've got to make sure it goes on right. More than anything. It smells of alcohol. Can you not smell it? It smells like vodka. No. So I'm going to hold it there. And I say apparently this is supposed to be quick acting, but how quick we will find out. Five minutes later, it's still sat there holding it. I don't know how well it's going to do with foam because it says most materials. Well, you know, I don't think it'll work, but. Multi purpose impact, instant contact adhesive. So it's instant contact adhesive. So as soon as it touches it, that's it. Stuck on for life. Fast drying, instant bond. High strength, no need to support. <laughs> <laughs> instant, I'll read that again. Instant bond, high strength, no need to support, and fast drying. That was on there for what, a minute or two? And yeah. no need to support, it says. No need to support. Clearly. There is a need to support. Uh, let's rewind to when I said it's not going to work. Cuts to, yeah, it didn't stick. It's not, it didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie, guys and girls, it is a bit of a kerfuffle. If it was a normal door card, we'd have this back on by now. And that is not a word of a lie whatsoever. But because it's got these quirky extra things on it, it makes life a little bit harder. So we've sort of got to angle it out to get it back on to the main sort of runway. Make sure these well these cables we can probably push them back down anyway, so it's not too dramatic. There we go. So it's sort of gone on it there. Also making sure that the foam thing's gone back into place correctly. Right then. So that is the wing mirror on this side, and I think it actually goes quite nicely. I think it looks a little better than the old one with obviously the uh, surround there painted as well all the door card went back on it was a nightmare but it seems to be quite secure everything's still functional i don't think i'm gonna use that crappy glue again now it's just a case of doing the door card on the other side or well, the wing mirror should I say but taking the door card off you know what i mean and then after that i'm gonna put the glass in both of them and see how they look
like the glass has been put in and they're all back to normal now i've got to set them up which is going to be really irritating because obviously it's always a pain to set your mirrors up on your car whether it be a new car or uh old car they've been driving going on down. so that is it for this video dennis's wing mirrors have been repaired and i think in my opinion improved as well if you did enjoy this video please don't forget to like subscribe maybe even hit that bell icon for notifications on future uploads but until the next time guys Peace. What he said. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy, Yazan9919 here.